It's really important as an artist to have fun with the work that you're making. Sometimes when I work on my really detailed pieces, it can get a little bit tedious and a little bit boring. One of the things that I'm trying to do with my work is make it looser and feel a little bit more free with the painting process. So that's what this video is all about. Trying to loosen up, have fun, let go a little bit and just paint without feeling restricted. When I'm painting, I sometimes feel like I get sucked into worrying about the details straight away. And that is one of the biggest mistakes beginner artists and professional artists can make. So to really push myself away from the details, I decided I wouldn't even touch a brush for the first part of this painting. So I grabbed a palette knife and I started to block in the basic shapes and the colours of the face. The thing with a palette knife is there is so much less control than with a brush. With a knife, you either put a solid bit of paint down or you don't. A brush has so many different variables, depending on the pressure, how you hold the brush, if the brush is frayed. So it can be tempting to start using that variation way too early in the painting process. And then you just get sucked right back into those details. One of the things I struggle with doing in my work is releasing that control. I need to feel like I can see every stroke and how it's going to look in the final piece. This makes it difficult in the painting process as I can be a little bit scared to paint over things that I've already done. Let's say with leopards as an example because I'm painting a leopard here. I usually paint all of the spots in black first. I then spend time painting around every single spot. That's really time consuming and I don't want to make any mistakes as the spots are all in the right place. I don't want to go over those spots and lose their position and I don't want it to look wrong. I need to get over that feeling of it looking wrong. My goal for this piece was to have fun. So I didn't want to be worrying about going around the spots with a tiny little brush. Instead, I built up the form of the painting. First with a palette knife and then with a brush, glazing and adding different marks to add more variation to the piece. I'm not bothered about details. I'm trying to forget about the details with pieces like this. I'm being loose, or at least trying to be, and free with quick, bold marks, not small, refined brush strokes. I have 10 times more fun with a piece like this, where I can just let go and paint. I mean, I have loads of fun with my realistic pieces too, just not as much. I love creating any art, but sometimes you get paintings like this leopard, where you aren't worrying about anything and you get into this flow state where it's almost like you aren't thinking about what to do next. It all just happens instinctively. If you haven't felt that you've been able to let yourself go and just paint, then I really highly recommend trying a looser style of painting and allowing yourself the freedom to just have fun. I added the spots last with this piece, 
and I decided to use a relatively large brush to keep with that loose, bold look that I was aiming for. It was both a mistake and a good thing. It was bad because I probably could have been a little bit more controlled with the shape and the position of the spots. Not too controlled, but a little bit more variation rather than just generic blobs would have been a bit better. It was, however, the fastest that I've ever blocked in spots on a leopard piece by like two hours. When you remove that worry of are the spots in the right place, are they all the same shape, then it's so much quicker. And if I'm being very honest, they still did the job of making it look like a leopard. One of the things that I am trying to get my head around is that my paintings, even the realistic ones, they do not need to be absolutely perfect. We can get away with just having the impression of details. Not everything has to be in the exact right place. As long as the viewer knows and understands what I've painted, then surely that's enough. If it has spots and looks like a leopard, then does it matter if half the spots aren't quite exactly like the reference photo, as long as the viewer still recognises it as a leopard? Painting more loosely like this, I mean, it's not super loose by most people's standards, but it's much less detailed and less controlled than what I usually paint. Painting like this has made me change my perspective on what makes a good painting. I've learned a few new skills and embraced the messiness and the lack of control. These are skills that I am going to be transferring to all of my work in the future. And I'm going to have all of the time in the world to do this because I've just quit my job to pursue my dream of becoming a full-time artist. If you'd like to see a little bit more about my journey to becoming a full-time artist, then check out this video here. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.